Hello, it is I again, the version of the bosses. This is the series where I fight bosses for the first time and defeat them 100 times. My goal, to take out every single boss and, well yeah, it's pretty simple, but at the same time, extremely perilous. All this leading up to me becoming the boss Chad. Oh hey, it's uh, been a second, but guess what? I got a treat for you. This episode, we're going to not only be slaying a total of four bosses, but they shall be ones where I must venture into the wilderness for. Not only do I have to go and defeat these bosses, but I will have the extra challenge of dealing with PKers. And, uh, oof, let me tell you, these, uh, there are a lot of these guys. Honestly, I'm just, I'm just so happy to be able to say that these bosses are ones that I can just jump right into. They're not locked behind me having to farm a bunch of keys or get some stupid levels to get a stupid shield. I can just go do them. And I don't want to spoil anything here, but if you can't tell from the title and thumbnail, I got some insane drops that I am thrilled about. Oh, but uh, since last time, I got my levels up and uh, finally got my first fire cape. Ah! I did it! I did it! Oh my god! Oh, was that a little, was that a little Twitch clip? Yes, it was. Uh, I'm gonna plug, I'm gonna plug this, so uh, if you're interested, I do a lot of these bosses live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash burntoothpick, which you should definitely go check me out at. Anyway, to the wilderness. Woo! Alrighty, here we go, our first boy, the crazy archaeologist. And before you even think, yes, this is a boss. Okay, look, he's on the official boss list. I don't even want to see any, oh, ha, 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 he thinks the crazy archaeologist is a boss and not a mini boss comments, all right? With that said, this guy is kind of a joke. He's a shit talker, but it's like an anime character where they shout their moves before using it. So when he does yell at his attack move, all you got to do is move out of the way. Keep your prayer up and no worries, it's all good. Even though we are in the wildy, I never saw a PKer here once. If you come here, you're really not risking much, and there really isn't a point to doing this boss unless you're an Iron Man. So thankfully, the only troubling part here was paying attention so I didn't get slapped by him. I did, however, get one of the best drops, that being the Malediction Shard. I was like, wow, I actually got a thing that isn't a bad fashion accessory. But hey, it made it so I believe I profited. I didn't know it dropped two rune crossbows at once, and I thought it must have been a glitch, but nope, I'm just a dummy. And that's really it, kind of uneventful. Sometimes these bosses I may get absolutely nothing from, but sometimes I may get all the drops. It's, it's a toss up, you know? At the end, 100 kills. Drops are about 2.3 mil. Not the worst, but this boss, yeah, never gonna see him again. Next on the list, we got the Chaos Fanatic. A little bit more of a spicier boss, but it's almost a replica of the crazy archaeologist. Aside from the mechanic where he can just take my stuff off and put it back in my inventory without my consent, this goddamn pervert boss. Old school RuneScape is for ages 13 and up, so he could be trying to strip miners. I'm just saying, maybe someone should let Chris Hansen know about this guy, you know? Although, to counter this, all I had to do is bring a full inventory, but food goes away when I eat it, right? Well, no fucking shit. So what I did is I just brought a bunch of pies and I let, and the dishes are left in my inventory. Yeah, so I just have to eat hundreds of pies thanks to this guy. Now I'm fat because of you. Look at these guys though. Look at look at the little, little fart guys he has around him. It's kind of nice. Kind of nice. Won't lie. Um, but yeah, now now I did see I did finally see a PKer, and this guy could have easily been avoided. Um, however, I was distracted and it, it was pretty lame. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this isn't my most proudest of moments, but I didn't really lose much and my gear is pretty budgeted. I did end up getting some Malediction and Odium shards. Not the good ones, but it's something. So I can't super complain. Or or maybe I will. You know what? It, it's my video. I have all the control here, all right? I'm gonna complain as much as I want. <laughs> Sorry guys, that side of me comes out sometimes. I'm just, I'll just push it back down in a healthy manner where it definitely will not cause any more problems. Aside from that drop, that's probably the craziest thing that really happened here. There we go, a hundred kills. Let's see the loot. After all that, we ended up with about 1.5 mil plus another 161K for the clue scroll. This boss is slightly better than the crazy archeologist, but mostly I'm just glad that it's done. Woo, there we go. All right, boys, moving forward. These bosses gave me a couple chest hairs. Now we are getting into some of the more difficult bosses and goddamn, did I struggle with this one. 
Remember those little shits back at the Crazy Fanatic like one minute ago? Well, they got pissed while I was slaughtering their dad in front of them and they grew up. Big and angry. Here we have the Chaos Elemental. The only reasonable gear for risk gear is the Varric Armor. Basically I have a 25% chance to hit through it and wow, did I need that because this guy was buff. Like, insanely buff. At the beginning, I wasn't sure if flinching or just a straight up brawl would be more effective. With the brawling tactic, I could do two to three kills per run and it at least seemed faster, so I went with that. This guy also had this terrific mechanic, so I had to bring pies here as well. Uh, and it kind of sucked because he could still hit through prayer and he hit hard. At this point, I was also feeling a little bit invincible. I thought it would be pretty funny to stream me fighting this boss and I quickly learned, oh boy, that was a mistake. Just go away. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Yeah, this should be on the hub. I'm getting gang banged right now. I'm literally okay. Watch me escape. Watch me escape because I'm so good. Why would it activate? What do you mean I can't reach that? It's right there. Ooh, that's so annoying. Well, I'm turning this on. I am turning this on. It's over. It's over. That was that was great. Okay, well I, I can't do anything anyway. Okay, dude, what if I get the I just had to know. I just had to know. I did not turn this on. Oh, okay. What's this? What's this? Oh, I got an ice barrage. Oh, it's actually okay. They're all here. They're all here. They're all here. They're... <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, okay. I know. I got stream sniped a bunch and just generally PK'd so many times due to this. Not only was the boss messing me up, but the PKers love this place, so I struggled when things like this happen. But this was not enough to deter me. No, I came up with a plan. This was a great plan, the best plan ever, all right? So you see, you see this area? Notice how the, the PKers would generally hop worlds from either here or here, okay? And I thought, hey, what if I just wasn't there? Uh, but you can't just move bosses, right? That's, that's not how that works, well no. But this boss has an extremely long roaming range. So I lured it from where it normally is, like all from here, you know, to all the way down here, yep, to this gate, to the point where after I started doing this, I never got PK'd once, not once. And to be fair, there was this, but I, I, I don't even know, I don't even know what this is. This, this, what is this? What is this? Now I could finally start on my grind. And okay, listen, all right? I I got the dragon pickaxe on like my fourth kill. All right, I swear I lost the clip, but look, it's here in my collection log. Uh, I'll even make like a cool reenactment thing here. Like, wow, oh my God, wow, oh, it's crazy. God, I can't believe it. Crazy stuff, I know. After I launched my plan, I was getting so many kills. Uh, and then I got something better than the dragon pickaxe. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god, I- yes! I am horrified. I am horrified. I'm so scared I'm gonna get PK. Oh, I actually got it. I can't believe it. We got a pet, boys. We got a pet. Oh my god. Yep, there we go. I got my pet. My first pet. My heart was going crazy when I was running home from there, but I made it back and, and just look at this little guy. I'm definitely going to name it Kimchi from Chowder, you know, it's like the little fart cloud dude. But uh, yeah, that's just pretty insane. And there we go, 100 kills, finally. What a journey. Glad that final kill was so smooth and one where I definitely didn't lie at the end. <laughs> oh shit, How, how'd that clip get in there? Uh, uh. Yeah, but anyway, here we go to the loot. I made 3.8 mil. However, I did lose a lot of GP from PKers and supplies, but I got the pet. So wow, very cool, very worth it. Awesome. The king of the wilderness and dragons himself, King Black Dragon. One of the most iconic and powerful foes we will have faced so far. Thankfully though, we won't have to deal with PKers this time since his lair is technically not in the wilderness, which damn, I'm totally fine with that. I do have to travel a short distance from here, which isn't a problem. I had to face it one PKer once because he was waiting for me, but I'm a slippery boy, so it was an easy escape. So this guy is, well, a big dangerous tank. However, to deal with those massive hits, all I needed was my anti-fire shield and anti-fire potions, and there we go. We could tank all the hits from this guy, however, he still can hit through prayer uh so i can only do like two to four kills per run which 
it made this take a second. Also, my gear wasn't ideal, but oh well, you're gonna, you're gonna make what you have, you know? Make do with what you have. Make the fuck is the expression? Make with what you, <laughs> whatever, you, you get what I mean. It was going pretty swell, you know, I, I couldn't complain. Um, and then I, I can't even believe this. Look, 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 just, just, just look, look at this. Ben yesterday and I was like, you have to. Are you kidding me? I just got a, I just got a pet. At 20 KC. Wait, what's, what is, what is the drop rate? What is the drop rate of this? A 1 out of 3,000 drop we got on a 20 KC. Like the Chaos Elemental pet, like that was cool, right? But that was 1 out of 300. I don't know how, but luck was on my side. I also couldn't really think of a name for this guy except like Prometheus or, or Gunther, which is stupid, it's dumb. Um, so if you guys want to comment a name down below, and I'll, I'll probably pick one. I mean, probably. Uh, if they suck, that, I mean, that's on you guys, you know? Now, here's the thing, right? Uh, my luck didn't even stop there. Like, you know how I said look at that last clip? Well, look at this one, okay? This is, this is ridiculous. What? What? Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What is this game? What is this? I... Why am I getting so lucky? I'm getting so lucky. Yeah, what, a dragon sigil? A one out of 5,000 drop? I mean, that's like, what are even the odds? Are you kidding me? That's insane. With this, I would be able to make the dragon better fire shield, whatever it's called. I'm not looking it up. Uh, <laughs> and I still have like 40 kills to go. So I thought it would be very fitting to make one of these bad boys, which is great against dragons. So I went over and I got it crafted and Yep, I uh, I needed 75 defense and I had 71. That's pretty funny, but god damn is it annoying. <laughs> anyway, I was about to get my 100th kill. At 99, I stopped and I thought, you know what? This is not the this is not the way to get the 100th kill. There, there's a better way. So I decided that I would punch the beast to death. I tried just a regular good old brawl, but that was taking too long. Instead, I recruited the help of one of my boys to Dragon Warhammer spec this guy's defense down and do a little extra, just a little extra damage to the point that I gave it a solid falcon punch to the face and ba bam baby, a hundred kills. Finally, the king has been utterly defeated. And now time for the loot. Without the sigil, it was about 1.5 mil, but including the new shield, the total ended up being around 3.4 mil, and my own little guy. I still shouldn't have been that lucky, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. Psh. I'd say pretty solid overall. Pretty, pretty solid job. I'd say we did good. Uh, we're, we're doing, wait, wait, oh, is your, are you lead? Okay, wait, oh, I'll be here. Hey boss, you here? Hello? Oh, oh fuck, don't do that, god. It scared me. Uh, okay, well, you see, uh, about that, I'm actually here to tell you that among a couple other bosses, uh, KPD is, is gone. Actually, he got, he got punched to death, sir. It's pretty, pretty brutal. Really gross. I, I, mean, I, did, I did a couple times. I don't really think that's super reasonable. <laughs> yep, there we have it. Another four bosses off the list. Hope you guys enjoyed and, uh, you know, like the video and do the subscribe thing. Just. That's it. That's that's the video. <coughs> okay, bye. <laughs>